Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be covering a running sneaker and this is a triple collaboration done with Stone Island, Tokyo Design Studio and New Balance and this is on the Fuel Cell C1 in the brown colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in if you're here because you're looking for an amazing running sneaker that is extremely hype this could be the one that you have been waiting for to drop this is a stone island tokyo design studio and new balance collaboration on the fuel cell c1 this silhouette did release in two different colorways this is the brown option i think out of the two this is probably my favorite as well I just think they did an impeccable job with the color options on this silhouette. So we'll go through the overview, a jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really intricate colored sneaker. And then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. As far as the release of these, these sold out pretty quickly on the Stone Island website. You definitely had to go through some hoops in order to snag a pair of these, specifically in this colorway. This was was one of the colors that I was pretty shocked how fast honestly these sold out on the website uh, but having these in hand I feel like it is definitely a more vibrant sneaker than as pictured so this is definitely a shoe I feel like you really need to see in person uh, I don't think that pictures really do this justice because of the prime knitting I mean there's just so many color options that they've got going on from this coral tone to this different shade of a mob purple which is this really really cool New Balance logo that we've got on the bottom here that's the flying N logo. Really cool how that drifts off the top of the prime knit. Again, the prime knit has some additional color schemes as far as like this kind of olive khaki tone and a lighter shade of beige that's spread throughout. So definitely not your typical standard color for a running sneaker, which is why I think I'm so drawn to it because it is so out there and so different. This is actually the first running shoe that was designed from the ground up by Tokyo Design Studio. As most of you know on my channel, I love doing Tokyo Design Studio collaborations with New Balance. I think that they have some of the most fire collabs. Uh, definitely some of my favorite collabs specifically with New Balance uh, as a whole, but definitely really cool to understand that they really just put everything into this uh, collab and also partnered with Stone Island on it. So as far as the tech goes, this sneaker is definitely filled with tech. One of the coolest parts that I honestly didn't get you can see here there are these two little black arrows on the front of the tongue here. That's actually to kind of showcase that this is actually magnetic. So this lace lock system is magnetic. So did you see how quickly that snaps? I've never honestly experienced a magnetic lace lock system. I think that this is so futuristic and just so cool as far as its usefulness. I love a lace system that I don't have to worry about it getting untied, specifically if you're a runner. I mean, there's nothing worse than having to stop for a second and tie uh, your sneaker. This is something that is definitely not going to untie on its own. So really cool technology that they've added in here. We also have super thin purple laces. These are some of the thinnest laces I think I've ever seen also. Uh, and then underneath, we've got some more of this prime knit, super stretchy, very malleable in this olive green tone and we've got Stone Island uh, product research on the tongue there. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then we'll move along to the side panels.
All right, so wrapping around the meshing, this is actually specifically re-engineered mesh. So really cool, again, to know that the mesh actually has some technology packed into it as well. And to the touch, it is a bit more on the rougher side. So it does give you a little bit more structure as far as really just kind of holding your foot in place. Then we've got more of those different color combinations spread throughout. As we work our way to the back, we've got more suede textures in that olive khaki tone, and then a bit more of this nice pastel purple. On the back is where we're getting that Stone Island logo, which is really cool how they've just kept it pretty minimalistic in that olive khaki tone. Then as we wrap around the lateral side, you're getting the same exact kind of color combination, except again, you are getting more of that embroidered flying N logo off to the side. The interior is in this kind of periwinkle tone and a lighter purple shade. And Tokyo uh, Design Studio in New Balance's logo is on the interior in black. As we work our way down to the midsole, this is where we're really getting this cool carbon fiber shank plate. And then it also has the fuel cell technology inside of the sneaker as well. I will say that this is definitely a very lightweight sneaker as well as it definitely gives you that energy to really push you forward, which is great for a running sneaker. Uh, again, you can kind of see that carbon fiber plate as we work our way to the bottom of the sneaker itself. And it's got that nice kind of metallic -y black tone. We've got some darker royal purple hues on the outsole as well as some of that just khaki olive tone as well. All right, so let's take a look at those last and final details. behind the entirety of the color scheme that they decided to go with with the two different colors that they dropped they actually came from archival color options from stone island all right so now let's jump into size and fit on these so as far as size and fit i would definitely say stick true to size i do love how malleable again this tongue is with the prime knit definitely a lot of structure as well that holds your foot in place uh, i do have higher chanero feet so do take that into consideration if you have wider flatter feet that could differentiate from my own since we do have different types of feet all right so now let's jump into how i styled this really intricately colored running shoe so again clearly this is a running sneaker i styled it more for a lifestyle uh, type of option so for the first look i decided to go pretty casual with an olive green romper second look I decided to go with a white sheer blouse and a long maxi olive pleated skirt Final look, switched up a little bit with a cropped uh, olive nylon top and some olive green cargo pants.
these. These retailed at $250. There are a few smaller size ranges left over on the New Balance website currently. So if you were unable to get these on release day and you are in that size range of a smaller foot, definitely hop on the New Balance site right now and see if you can snag a pair. These sold out so quickly on the Stone Island website. And again, I just think that this is a great running shoe, but also just a different color option I haven't honestly seen before. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We will catch you on next episode.